that's on. Okay. Now, can you hear? Can you hear that perfectly? Like, you can hear that. All oh, right. Yeah. Let's go talk like this. Uh, I write Vince. I'm 24, and uh, I write graffiti. I was like 15 at the time, and a mate, a mate of mine that I knew from school, he was like, he, he was into graffiti and tagging and shit like that. So fucking. Uh, one day I went along with him and ended up going to the shop with a black book and started sketching and it just, it just went from there. Like. What inspires me, it, it varies from, from year to year. It's only because like, right now my crew is from London, my crew from Ireland, they, like, they inspire me. The guys like, that, that push it, they really try and push everything to the next level. They're really inspirational, but like, it's just other graffiti where it's like Ken Five, like Gesser, Salton, like other graffiti writers, as well as, well as like Irish Irish craft writers that developed into street artists like Maser, James Early, the likes of these guys are really inspirational because they, they kind of show the transition from a good solid graffiti writer into a businessman and an artist, being able to like, take it just from the streets and be able to put it into galleries or be able to make money from it. Like that's, that's pretty inspirational when you can just pick a job out of the air kind of thing. In terms of going to paper the walls, I'd sit at home with Spotify on, just listen to chill tunes, try and try and get into the flow with the, with the wrist and sketch, sketch some, some stuff out, like some rhyme work that like feels natural. If it doesn't feel natural, I don't go with it. Um, and then from there, all it takes is blowing it up from an A3 piece of paper onto a wall for as big as you want. And obviously, the bigger the wall, the better. Can't, you can't complain with a big wall. Um, in terms of painting spots, I'd, I'd like to burn a job because I kind of I grew up around here. Like that's where I, first, I painted my first piece. You know, I got in contact with Mesa, Mesa from there. It's a, it's a nice spot to paint. But like I like when I travel around Ireland, you're going down these back roads and you find cottages, little abandoned cottages. It's nice. Like you just have to look around and be smart. You know what I mean? Like obviously. There is illegal elements to all types of graffiti, but like, if you're painting in a spot that nobody knows about or nobody knows that you're there, like, it's, what, what's the harm? I don't know in terms of future plans, um, but right now I have a challenge going on with uh, Rask, Drotta and Ecto from my crew in UPC, uh, my crew in London, UPC, um, to get the first person to get to 100 pieces, so like that's, that's for now, that's for this year, but in terms of next five ten years I just want to travel travel the world paint as many countries as I can you know maybe do a gallery show I don't know I just I just want to paint like that's the one thing that makes me the happiest so I'm just gonna keep painting and see what happens using spray paint and brushes and, and things like that but everything all type of art forms that I do uh, would, would tend to stem from spray painting. They could all have a spray painting background or a spray painting logic to it. My opinion on illegal graffiti, um, that's, a, that's a tough question because illegal graffiti is so broad but yet it's such a, a key component to any big graffiti writer's career. You know, everyone has to start off the basics, doing tags, doing throw-ups, doing dubs, you know, getting caught. Like, getting caught is a big part of graffiti, you know what I mean? You learn so much from that. Um, I appreciate everyone doing illegal graffiti right now. I have so much respect for them. Um, I did illegal graffiti. Um, every now and again, I dabble again. But, like, I, I, I have no negativity towards it. I have all positivity because it's a part of the culture. You can't just rock up to a wall and, paint a burner piece on, on your day one you, know, you, you have to go through all the stages and you have to experience everything that comes with graffiti beef everything you know problems a writer is anything like that you, you just need to be true to graffiti